He's been collecting cards again. Um, he used to collect them when he was younger, but he ended up getting rid of them. <laughs> and he regretted that. And to this day, he wishes he had his cards back. But I've collected So this is basically his binder so far of what he's collected. Um, and they're like his, his favorite cards. Um, all these cards that he thinks are worth putting in the binder. Um, and this was actually my binder. Um, I started out with this and then another one too. But I ended up taking out my cards and These are his, like, top cards <laughs> on this first page. We got a sweet coon V here. That was in the Crown Zenith set. I was a little jealous when he pulled this card, but it was, like, awesome, because now it's in our collection. And something kind of interesting is, um, I don't know, this is probably just all probability. <laughs> I've noticed that, like, I don't know, th the cards that I've gotten when I was a kid were of Pokemon that I liked a lot of the time. And Jeremy grew up with Crystal, Pokemon Crystal, so it's kind of funny how one of the first really good cards he got was of Suicune, <laughs> was of the Crystal. He got the Mewtwo V-Star, which I have this card too, and it's worth like 50 bucks. It's also from Crown Zenith. Um, and I was jealous when he pulled this card because he pulled, it was, we both got boxes and they were the same kind of box. It was the Zacian and Samazenda $60 box. And I pulled card. Or no, I already had this card. But he pulled this card and a Mew. The Mew with the, um, the full art Mew where he's like sleeping. And I was so jealous. I was like, I wanted that Mew. And then if I had gotten this one, I could have sold it because I would have had a double. But I'm glad that he got it because um, it's very cool. He loves this card a lot. And it's cool. Charizard on it too, with me too. Um, so these two he got recently. <laughs> because 
because they're in the 151 pack series. <laughs> He's so lucky that he got some, like, good ones from that. Um, because it's kind of iffy whether you get, it's basically all luck if you're gonna get really good stuff or really crappy stuff. And he got the Alakazam, which is so dope. I really like this card. Zapdos. <laughs> you got the Zapdos lucky. But now I'm super on the hunt for the Charizard and um, the Dragonair, even though the Dragonair is not worth as much as some of the other ones, but I still want it because I love Dragonair. I would have to say that my favorite card on this page I just think it's so cute. Oh, he's getting back into it again, and he just loves looking at his binder. It's literally, it's like a stem for him, <laughs> and he'll show it to me, too. <laughs> he'll just keep showing me his binder. <laughs> this is Flaria. That was from 151. Jinx. Jinx, Jinx. I always hate when I get Jinx. other humanoid Pokemon that look better, in my opinion. Like the Machoke line. Uh, Rotom. He's got a Rotom V-Star and Rotom V. <laughs> and he pointed out how oh, this one's smiling and this one's frowning. <laughs> This was another one that he got from 151 that I feel like he should have put more towards the front, but it's okay because then you can keep turning the pages and still find really cool looking ones. But I love how that Nido King looks, it looks so nice. It's Flaffy. Flaffy with a trainer. Shield or something. Then he got Lugia. 
it looked beat up but I don't see where it looks beat up at all really and it's an old card too it's from like 2000 1999 Ken Suki reminds me of Amazon. <laughs> Amazon, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, and day. Dark cry. These are just noisy day.
This is such a pretty card. I have that one too. Um, it's from Crown Zenith. Deoxys V. Deoxys V. Blastoise EX. And this pretty soul rock that I think is from Crown Zenith too. It's so pretty. The Lunatone. Oh, we should put that on the same page with the swap blue, because there's like a little art series within Crown Zenith that's these like nature looking art with Pokemon. These two cards. <laughs> so, these two cards were my cards, right? This Tyranitar, Mega Tyranitar EX, and Mega Venusaur EX. They're the only This one's worth, I think, like $26. I'm not sure how much this one is, but I wanted that Mew, the Mew he got so bad. I was literally like, because I wasn't going to keep trying and getting ground zenith because you can't honestly really get it much anymore. Um, I noticed anyway, the places we shop and even on the website too. So I traded him these two for that Mew because of how bad I wanted it, even though that Mew card is not worth that much. I think it's worth like 15 <laughs> and it's like 26 plus like, I think this may be like 5 or 10 dollars, but I wanted that Mew. <laughs> it's such a cute card, like I'll show it to you guys when I show you my cards. <laughs> but look. Dude, this is so dope because look at it, like, the text wraps like that. That is so cool. I wonder what it says. Oh, I wanna know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that, to you guys, that was stupid, but I, I collect Mews and Mewtwo's, I guess. I have three Mewtwo's. No, Whale Lord reminds me of Humphrey now from Amori. <laughs> like, I think that's really funny <laughs> how much he reminds me of that. Oh, Glamora EX. Glamora EX. Uh, Miraidon EX. It's one of the Sword and Shield legendaries. And Mirai. I was trying to figure, I was like, what does Mirai mean? I know what that means. And at first I thought it meant world, but that's Sakai. Mirai means future. And I remembered that it was from um, Future Diary, that anime called Future Diary. Mirai Nikki. Clefable EX. I think this was my card. I'm, I was getting rid of it, so he just took it. This was one I was gonna sell. It's probably worth like two bucks. Mawile V. Mawile is really cool. I kind of collect Mawiles just because I've gotten a bunch over the years. Um, and some of them are pretty old. Some of them are from like 2007.
Especially because they're like individual um, and he was thinking about it too he's so cute how he like thinks about stuff like when I when I mention it like like because I again I took all of my cards out of my binder and put them in sleeves said he was thinking about doing that like he considered doing it so <laughs> that's so cute we'll see if he does it just because it gives each card more spotlight, I guess, to have them individual. Um, instead of all like this. Good. Sarah Aura V. Which, <laughs> I'll be honest, this one, to me, is like screams furry, but it's okay. <laughs> Looks, we'll roll, roll with it. We'll roll with it. Beedrill, classic Beedrill, and Gyarados. Oh, this is a cute Raichu. That's so cute. I love that. I love the background. God, look at that. It kind of reminds me of an old guard, like from mid 2000s. That Articuno guard from 151. I have that one too. I like that. Psychic energy that's worth a little, like fifteen dollars, I think. I have a dark energy and I have lightning energy, which is dope. Like those are three really cool ones. Psychic, dark, and electric. Did I say lightning energy?
another mawile. Metagross, and then a pretty cool looking schizor. This obsidian flames schizor. Um, and Shin, Weezing, and Marowak. That's a cool Marowak. Basically the price of a booster pack. Gengar, Tinkalot, and Arbok EX. These are both from 151. These two are both from 151. They're really cool. I like the Tangela. I like the Tangela. One of the hits that I Chunks and I hope you enjoyed this little video of Jeremy's Pokemon card binder. <laughs> um, we just had our anniversary um, yesterday. I'm recording this on October 4th. Our anniversary was October 3rd, and it's our six year anniversary. <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy to think. Sleepy chunks.